He was born on February 11, 1847 in Millen, Ohio, and in 1854 moved to Port Huron, Michigan with his family. At 12 years old, he became a salesman in a train where he also built his own laboratory in a baggage car. In 1862, in Mount Clemens Station, he saved the child of a telegrapher who in return teach him professional telegraphy. In 1868, he signed his first patent for an automatic vote recorder, but politicians from Washington did not want it. Then he improved the stock ticker, which was his first successful invention. He opened his factory in New York and later married his employee Mary Stilwell. He created then the famous Menlo Park Lab, the first industrial lab in the world. He discovered a carbon button microphone which made the possible use of the telephone invented by Graham Bell. He then invented a phonograph able to record and play, and he made the first recording. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph, a little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. After testing 14,000 different materials, he was able to create the first affordable light bulb as we know it today. He created the General Electric Company in order to electrify Manhattan. He developed with his employee William Dixon the first camera called Kinetoscope, and his employee was the first one to be immortalized in the film. He then created the Vitascope projector, delighting large audiences with short films created by his own company. He created an invention every 11 days and a major invention every 6 months. The New York Daily Graphic gave him a name, the Wizard of Mellow Park, but his real name was Thomas Alva Edison, probably the greatest inventor of all times. <laughs>